It's my wonderful and I'm be listeners around the world wherever you might be listening from. Welcome to today's news. The news headline. Minority leader. I saw that G5 governors endorsed me. I did not have interaction with them, Agom said. Minority leader. I saw that the G5 governors endorsed me and I did not have any interaction with them, Agom said. The news in full details. The senator representing Cross River North Senatorial District Senator Jarik B. Agom has hinted that the G5 governors on the platform of the People Democratic Party, PDP cannot use him to get back at the former governor of Shokoto State and a contestant for the seat of the minority leader, Aminu Tambua, as he insisted that even though he saw in newspaper that the G5 governors and asked him for the seat of the minority leader, he is not interested. The lawmaker had said, I saw in I saw in the papers some days back that I have been endorsed by the G5 governors to be the minority leader of the 10th Senate. I have not had any interaction with them on this subject matter. Senator Agon, who spoke during an interview on Arise Television, Inter that the immediate past governors of River State, once on Wiki, cannot use him to get back as Senator Aminu Tambua for what the former Shokoto governor did to him during the presidential primary election of the People's Democratic Party PDP. According to him, the claim that he has been endorsed to contest against Tambua for the seat of the minority leader is unfounded because he never indicated interest in the seat. Agon maintained that even though he is qualified to contest, he is not interested in that position. He maintained that he never had any discussion to become the minority leader with Winston Wiki and his allies. He, however, maintained that even though he is con- not contesting against Tambowa, there is a need for the Shokoto state governor not to rely on the purported endorsement by Atiku Abubaka because consort members of the op- but consort members of the opposition party. Agom Jerubi, who is from Ibil in Ogoja local government area of of Cross River State. He is a politician, currently a member of the Senate in the ninth National Assembly representing Cross River North, and was a member of the House of Representatives in the eighth and ninth National Assembly representing Ogoja Yala Federal Constituency. Agom Jarigbe was elected into the Green Chamber in 2015 and has served for a second term in office. In 2020, he contested and won the Cross River North Senatorial by election, Senatorial election. however, it was given to another candidate. In 2021, the Supreme Court had judgment, had judgment in his favor and upheld him as the senator elect for Cross River North. He recontested the 2023 senatorial election and was elected under the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Agom Jerigbe attended the School of Basic Studies in Port Harcourt, River State, where he passed the West African Seniors, Senior Secondary Certificate Examination in 1990. He obtained, he obtained a bachelor's degree in chemistry from the University of Calabar, Cross River State in 2004. He is presently studying law. The 2022 Nigerian House of Representatives election are called to fill vacant seats in the House of Representatives. The 360 members of the House of Representatives are elected from single seat constituencies using first past the put first past the post voting when vacancies are caused by election. They are called scheduled and administered by the Independent National Electoral Commission. New elections are also called if the general election were annulled by a court or election tribunal, with these elections being referred to as supplementary election, if the election is only held in certain polling units and, and as a rerun election, if the election held throughout the entire constituency. On the 16th of August 2021, members of the Akure North, Akure South, Adebayo Omolafe, People Democratic Party died from an undisclosed illness. 
In December 2021, the Independent National Electoral Commission stated it stated its intent to use the primordial voter accreditation system Beaver's technology for the by-election along with having polling unit workers upload results directly to the Independent National Electoral Commission results portal on election day. In January, the Independent National Electoral Commission set the date for the by-election for 26th of February alongside five other election five other by election with party primaries taking place between 26th of January and 5th of February. The All Progressive Congress conducted an independent indirect primary on the 1st of February to nominate one of the eight cleared candidates. Maya Kunlo Alade emerged as a nominee with 43% of votes, defeating former Ondo State Commissioner for Women Affairs Omaomi Ola Tunji and former Ondo State House of Assembly member Ademola Adeguroye. The People Democratic Party conducted an indirect primary on the 3rd of February to nominate one of one of five cleared candidates, Olumu Yewa Adu, who emerged as a nominee with 42% of the vote, defeating former Undo State House of Assembly member Kemisola Adesoya. Ahead of the general election, ahead of the by-election, the candidates of both the All Progressive Congress APC nominee Maya Okunlo Sin and People Democratic Party nominee Olumu Yewa Adu be optimistic, with Adu hoping to be buoyed by the late Omolafe popularity in the constituency. Observer noted that despite the areas being a PDP stronghold, the race was shaping up to competitive and close. Security wise, the pre election situation was described as peaceful normal and that peace, peace continued in most units of the, on the election day. The senator representing Cross Silver North Senatorial District, Senator Karibe Agong, who entered reporters that the G5 governors on the platform of the People Democratic Party cannot use him to get back as former governor of Shokoto State, Aminu Tambowa, and who is also a contestant for the seat of the minority leader. He insisted that even though he saw in newspapers that the G5 governors endorsed him for the seat of the minority leader, he is not interested. Senator Agom, who spoke during an interview on Arise TV, entered that the immediate past governor of River State, Wonsom Muki, cannot use him to get back at Senator Aminu Tambuwa for what the former Shokoto state governor did to him during the presidential primary election of the People Democratic Party. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news as I'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.